Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something that is just absolutely epic to take a look at. As you can see, a really nice Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom logo right here before us, and when we kind of pan out here, you can see an insanely large image of an Indoraptor here on the side, and that is because today we are going to check out the W Dragon Indoraptor. This is the very first officially licensed Jurassic World product from W Dragon that I have had the opportunity to enter into my collection and take a look at here on the channel for you guys. And the box art here just looks absolutely gorgeous like it usually does whenever it comes from W Dragon. But this is even better than your standard W Dragon box art which used to be you know pretty basic but we actually have a really nice appearance to the box in this one. If you turn to the side here We'll get another look at what's going on as we have a really nice image of the back of the Indoraptor over here showing off some of the quills and stuff here on the back of the Indoraptor. And then if we turn it again, we have another nice image here, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom again, as well as an image of the Indoraptor model that is contained within this box. Again, looking really cool, definitely like that. And then if we turn it over here, we now have kind of an image here of the hand of the Indoraptor which also looks cool, and you can see the Universal logo and all of that fun stuff down there at the bottom. And then actually up here on the top, you also have a really nice Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom logo right up there at the top. But I'm really psyched to check out the very first official product from the Jurassic World line as far as W Dragon goes that I have. There was actually a kind of a bronze T-Rex before this that I did not acquire but I'm really psyched to check this one out, again, being the very first one to enter my collection as far as an officially licensed product from W Dragon for the Jurassic World line. So let's go ahead, break it out of its box, and take a look at it. So as soon as we open the box, we pull the base out, and the base actually looks really cool. You can see a nice kind of like a cracked area over here, as well as a cracked area down here. And of course, a fantastic Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom logo right there. I like that they're specific with it too. They didn't just give you a Jurassic World logo or anything like they specifically gave you the film that it was from, which is Fallen Kingdom. So that is definitely very, very cool. And then we have the Indoraptor itself. And man, is that ever awesome. If you are a fan of the Indoraptor, I can say straight away without even further looking at this model that this is an absolute must-have. Such an incredible and really beautiful interpretation of the Indoraptor from Fallen Kingdom. I'm not always the biggest fan of the hybrids from Jurassic World. I actually have come to uh, really like them over time, but initially it's like, ah, hybrid, I'm not a big giant hybrid guy but again over time I've really grown fond of the different hybrids from Jurassic World one of which being the Indoraptor which would be the second hybrid and I think this is a fantastic version of the Indoraptor it's got a little peg right there for the foot and then once it's on its base you can see just how incredible it looks really just has an overall presence to the model just fantastic looking here but without further ado we're going to go ahead jump straight to a closer look at this right now so starting up here at the head sculpt of the Indoraptor, the scale detail all over the face is just gorgeous. So much really nice scale detail. And they've painted this in a really nice realistic way where they've kind of dry brushed out all of the scale detail, which is actually funny because that's the same way I usually paint my Indoraptors when I paint them, giving them a really nice kind of a darker but sort of lighter gray, like a medium type gray and dry brushing the detail out. It always makes the detail pop so nicely on Indoraptor models and that's exactly what you see here from W Dragon. You can see every ounce of scale detail just pops in a fantastic way throughout the course of the model thanks to the really nice dry brushing. You can also see a super nice looking eye right there giving us that very creepy glare that the Indoraptor was pretty good at in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom but you can also just generally see that the paint of the eye is super highly detailed and just beautifully applied to the model. Also sports a really nice gloss coat you can also see down here as we move into the mouth that you have kind of like a little area of like that skin flap there of the side of the mouth as well as the teeth of the Indoraptor and they just look super super lifelike, very realistic. It's nice to see that W Dragon has now moved into the area of kind of using those almost translucent type teeth which makes it just look incredibly lifelike and that's what they've used here 
on this Indoraptor, and you can see all of the teeth look fantastic. They're actually kind of sharp, so they have a very realistic appearance and very lifelike appearance to them. You can see the nostrils sculpted out up here as well, but you can see the inside of the mouth here on the lower jaw is fantastic looking, and you can also see the tongue sticking up in there. The paintwork also looks really good throughout. You can kind of see the inside of the mouth there on the upper jaw. It looks really nice as well, but it's not as easily noticeable. It's not as easily visible due to the kind of shadows inside the mouth because the mouth isn't open in a super wide position or anything. So you can sneak in there and see it, but to uh, look at it without a flashlight or anything, you know, it's a little harder to see. But if we take a look over here at the opposing side of the head, again, it just looks beautiful absolutely beautiful the teeth are all really nice and carefully done just look gorgeous again all include a gloss coat as does just generally the inside of the mouth and the eye again as the tail rubs against the backdrop right there that eye actually let's move this back a little bit so we can get a more straightforward shot there we can see how nice that eye looks just absolutely phenomenal application of the color of the eye Beautiful scale detail up here on the top of the head of the Indoraptor. As we move back into the neck, you start to see some of those quills picking up, as well as those kind of like scoots that run across the back of the neck. They're almost like osteoderms, or kind of like an armored type of a look to the back of the Indoraptor. And you can see how they have a really nice kind of an orangish, reddish coloration, which is definitely really cool to see that W Dragon picked that up perfectly. And one thing that's quite shocking about this model, I was really worried about it in transit because I thought it was going to be a resin model similar to like the JP3 female Raptor and the Bull Rex, but it's actually not. It feels like the same type of material that W Dragon usually uses for their figures, and that means that the quills are actually soft, so you can bend them, you know, and they don't break, which is definitely really nice when it comes to a model like this that has you know, quills and stuff, because that would be a very fragile area if this were made of resin. As you move down the course of the neck, again, the scale detail continues to look incredible. You can see the really nice curve here in the neck as the Indoraptor has its head turned to the right. Like, you can see how nicely displayed that is as far as, like, the creasing in the neck and everything. You see the trademark Indoraptor stripe, that yellowish stripe pick up right here. And I like that they've mixed, like, tones of yellow and orange which is exactly how it looks in the film. You can also see a lot more of some like really nice skin detail here in the lower part of the throat, and just generally a lot of really nice detail as you run down the course of the throat of the Indoraptor. Moving down here into the shoulder, you can pick up on the shoulder blade a little bit. Really nice scale detail down here as well. Some beautiful muscle definition, as well as more of those quills poking up here off of the arm. You can also make out the elbow right there. And I really love the turn here in the skin. Like you can see how the skin is sculpted out here to really show off the movement of the arm right there in the shoulder. That looks fantastic. As we get down here into the hand, the hand looks super, super creepy, exactly like it looks in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, the nails are painted with a really nice kind of a brownish coloration, but then transitioned sort of to like a gray at the tips, which looks super lifelike, and also sport a really nice gloss coat, nice scoots down the fingers and everything. Really highly detailed hand sculpt right there. Continuing to move back into the stomach, you can make out the rib cage a little bit right there, as well as, again, a lot of movement here on the underside as far as, like, the skin goes. It just looks incredible as far as all of the, like, skin wrinkles and creasing and everything going on. But you can also see, again, that the scale detail just pops so beautifully throughout the stomach region of the Indoraptor. Again, we have more of those kind of, like, scoots running along the back in that armored area that runs along the center of the Indoraptor. Some nice creasing here in the front of the thigh. The muscle definition is just phenomenal right here on the rear leg. It just looks really nice as far as the way it's sculpted. And again, they've dry brushed the scale detail out beautifully. As you move down into the leg, you can see the kneecap right there and the very nice bulging calf muscle, which is nice to see because the Indoraptor is obviously walking in a quadrupedal stance, but this is the rear leg that is actually planted as this leg is picking up off of the ground. This area would probably be supporting the majority of the weight of the Indoraptor, and they've sculpted out that muscle definition of the calf quite nicely. As you move down into the foot, the foot continues to look really nice. Beautiful scoots down the toes, very reptilian scaling throughout the course of the figure. The nails are again painted just like we saw up there on the hands beautiful with so many different tones it actually starts out with kind of like a black then transitions to like a light brown and transitions to a gray out there on the tips so super lifelike and realistic and they do have dew claws present as you can see on the opposing foot 
And then as we move up here, you can see more really nice creasing and stuff right here and showing off how the skin is stretching, showing the movement again of the leg right there. You have more of those quills up here on the back of the Indoraptor. As you run out the course of the Indoraptor, you see the really, really nice kind of creasing and stuff throughout the course of the tail, showing off the movement of the tail. There's a really nice kind of like a dark wash that seems to have been applied to the Indoraptor as well. As we lead out the length of the tail, there's a beautiful curve. The tail is definitely, you know, always bending and folding in the film, and there's a really nice curve to the tail of this W Dragon version. Now we have taken a look at this side of the head, but as we move down the course of the neck, you can see that the actual skin detail and everything is just as fantastic as it was on the initial side. You can see the back looks beautiful as far as the sculpting of that, again, almost like an armored type of an area of the Indoraptor. The tail keeps dragging on the backdrop now because the tail's curved in that position. As we move over here, you can really get a good sense of the muscle definition again because now this front leg here is supporting the front half of the dinosaur and you can see how nicely tensed the muscles are to do that beautiful, very fine detailing to this sculpt of the Indoraptor. Again, super lifelike and realistic. As you move down the course of that incredible scale detail here on the arm, you can see again those quills sticking off of the back of the arm. Really nicely sculpted out and painted nails. They look super lifelike, again, looking like they are genuinely sharp, although they're not really, you know, a little bit, but they're not too sharp. As you move back up into the body, you can much nicer get a good idea of what the stomach region of the Indoraptor looks like on this side because the legs are further apart than what we had seen on the initial side. You can see the beautiful yellow and orange stripe running through the stomach region of the Indoraptor, but also, again, the rib cage slightly showing here in the stomach region. Beautiful skin wrinkles and folds and creases and everything here on the underside and the lower part of the stomach region. But again, just absolutely fantastic scale detail throughout the course of this Indoraptor. You can also see the skin stretching really nicely here off of the stomach region as the leg is taking a step along and pulling that skin quite beautifully. The thigh on this side also looks really nice and really nice muscle definition shown on this side as well. But one thing that I think is really cool about this side is that you don't see the tensing of the muscles quite like you had seen on the initial side because of course this leg is picking up off of the ground so the leg wouldn't be tensing quite as much as what we had seen on the previous side so w dragon really showing that they pay a lot of attention to the very minor details to make their models about as realistic as it gets you can again see the kneecap there in the front of the leg you can now see the duke claw on the opposing side again you can just see how beautiful and vibrant the scale detail is on this model it's super super nice and that foot sculpt although you know obviously not a real dinosaur is very bird-like looking when you look at it like this really nicely done and of course the sculpt and detail is fantastic the nails again look super super nice very realistic and lifelike as far as the sculpt and paintwork goes and again some more really nice creasing here again showing off the movement of the thigh as it's pressing against the tail area kind of scrunching up the skin right there as we move out the length of the tail you again see the quills up here on the back of the indoraptor but the tail looks really beautiful you can again pick up on that really nice curve and to show you again that this isn't a resin model you can see how it kind of bends a little bit very similar as far as the material to the usual w dragon models and you can see the underside as well is just super super highly detailed like it always is when it comes to a W Dragon release, you can get to the underside here of the stomach and there's just so much insane skin detail and skin wrinkles and everything going on here on the underside of the Indoraptor, even leading up into the throat. So this is just an absolutely phenomenal Indoraptor, definitely the nicest Indoraptor in my collection. And then of course the base is just exactly like I had shown you earlier, we have a really nice Beautiful silver Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom logo right here just looks fantastic on the base. You also see the, you know, cracks and stuff on the base throughout. That's really about it. There's not too much else going on on the actual base itself. But then here on the underside, you have that fantastic Jurassic World logo. Again, Indoraptor 115th scale and then W Dragon's logo down here at the bottom. A really nice base, a really nice underside to the base. Again, for a fantastic model overall. And you apply your Indoraptor to the base exactly as you think you would, which is a really nice peg that slides into the bottom of the foot as long as I can find the spot because it's a little hard to without actually looking at it. There we go. Slides in there very nicely and our Indoraptor is now on its base perfectly 
and just looks super, super nice. As far as a size goes, being 1 15th scale, it is really quite nicely sized. You're looking at right around the 14 inch range or about the you know, 35 and a half centimeter area. And this is, of course, because the tail is curved. If the tail were straight out, this would be a much larger model. But because of the curl here in the tail, you could see I have to measure from like right here to the face. So if the tail were straight, it would be way bigger as far as a length goes. As far as a height to the top of the head here, while it's on the base, actually to the top of the quills, about six and a half inches or 16 and a half centimeters. And then to the top of the back, which you cannot see at all right now, you are looking at a little bit above, actually about seven and a quarter inches or around the 18 centimeter mark. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack, Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line in comparison to our W Dragon Indoraptor. And you can without question see that again, this sports a very large size. You know, it's not absolutely huge like you would get from like a Prime 1 or, you know, potentially an Iron Studios version. But uh, this is definitely a very, very nicely sized model, much larger than your usual W Dragon model like this. And then for a second comparison, here is the W Dragon Indoraptor in comparison to the W Dragon Tyrannosaurus Rex. I decided to bring this one in as the comparison because I feel like it's definitely one of W Dragon's most popular models. So it would have been a good one as far as a W Dragon comparison goes to show you with the Indoraptor. Again, showing that the Indoraptor is still much larger than even the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So this W Dragon Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Indoraptor is fantastic. Definitely one of the nicest models in my collection with no questions asked. It is just gorgeous. They took the Indoraptor and almost feels like they pulled it straight out of Fallen Kingdom and brought it here for me in model form. It just looks picture perfect as far as the sculpt goes. The detailing is just off the charts. Like they have applied so much incredible scale detail, skin wrinkles, skin stretching, creasing. All of it is just fantastic throughout the course of the entire model. Again, making it look like it's as lifelike and realistic as possible. I feel like the only thing that's honestly missing a little bit from the model looking at it here would be potentially almost like a glossy type of a look because the Endoraptor seems a little shiny to me in the films, but that's such a very minor thing and I feel like the model overall does not suffer in any way, shape, or form as far as that goes. It still looks just absolutely incredible. Definitely a centerpiece style model if you do get a hold of one. It's definitely the type of model that will really highlight your collection and again would be a great piece to have as the centerpiece to your model collection. But the sculpt is also really nice as far as the pose goes. Very reminiscent to Fallen Kingdom has the Indoraptor just kind of like making a right turn with its one leg up and the arm up as well and it looks really nice very almost majestic but obviously showing a very kind of a mysterious and evil type of a look to the indoraptor as far as the positioning of the body but also the head sculpt the head sculpt is very evil looking i think on the indoraptor in fallen kingdom and they have replicated it perfectly here on this model the paintwork all throughout the course of this indoraptor is also really beautiful very precise spot on to what the Indoraptor looks like in Fallen Kingdom, or at least as far as I'm concerned. They did a great job as far as replicating that nice streak running down the course of the body as well, with the really nice tones of oranges and yellows and stuff like that. And I love that they actually went ahead and painted those kind of like osteoderms that run along the back, actually more like ridges that run along the back of the Indoraptor, because that again is something you do see on the Indoraptor in the film. The inside of the mouth is super lifelike and realistic. W Dragon has begun using that kind of translucent type of material for the teeth, which really makes the entire model look just so much more lifelike and realistic with the addition of that little aspect. And then on top of all of that, you have a really nice base that goes with your Indoraptor, really completing a very cool looking scene here for us to have our Indoraptor walking along a Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom logo, and it just looks so cool on that base. It would have been nice to have more of like, you know, an earthy type of an area or something reminiscent to the film, but this is still really quite nice. Definitely a big fan of everything that I see here 
on this Indoraptor from W Dragon. I really honestly cannot even pick out one slight complaint as far as this model goes. So if you are interested in this, the best place in my opinion to buy it is Dan's Dinosaurs because that's where I bought mine and it showed up to my house with lightning quickness. Again, definitely if you are a fan of Fallen Kingdom or the Indoraptor specifically or even just Jurassic World, this in my opinion is a must have definitely a fantastic release from w dragon so if you are interested make sure you head to the link in the description that i will include to dan's dinosaurs where you can purchase this right now make sure you get a hold of it before it does officially sell out otherwise make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching